Hello, welcome back. Tracy here. How are you all? So we ended up cutting our holiday short because we had a big storm and we were worried that we couldn't come across the ferry. But we made it. Pretty rough, dicey weather. Um, 50 shades of green I was on the ferry across for three hours. But yeah, we made it safe and sound. So last night was the first night at home. Um, woke up this morning feeling a little bit uh, rough, sore throat, um, tired. So I'm not sure what that's about considering I've just been on holiday. But I wanted to quickly um, jump on, show you a few things. I need to declutter my craft room because I've dumped a whole lot of stuff in here. I didn't get a lot. Um, I bought myself a new EcoTank printer, Epson printer, because my other one died the day before I left. Stopped in at a quilter's barn um, in Blenheim, called, yeah, basically called the quilter's barn. So I wanted to share a few um, pieces of material and got myself a rotary trimmer and a mat. So that's really cool because I've been wanting one for a while. So I thought I'd jump on before I start putting everything away. <coughs> so... They had in a basket all beautiful, um, beautiful material. So I'm not even sure how much is in each of these, but I love them. I love the patterns on them. Um, love the colours. I wonder if it's got a, it must have a name somewhere. Oh. There you go, Best of Morris by Barbara Motor Fabrics. Yeah, not sure, but I'm not I'm not a quilter by any means, but I do love the fabric. So I can see like this being on the inside of a journal. Um, I have a whole lot of Reader's Digest that I picked up that have the nice covers on them. So I won't be covering them, but I'll be using some strips down the side. Um, what else have I got here? So I've got this one. But they're just stunning. Um, and I really wanted to get some nicer materials. I don't know whether they were cheap or not. Um, these two little pieces, which... I'd say it's got a fair amount on it. Definitely got a fair amount on it. Um, like they were four dollars. So there is a bargain to be had at the Quilters Barn if you look around. These two are slightly smaller and these other ones along here are bigger. So I just bought that because it was plain. I thought it'd be good for ruffles um, and the inside covers. And then we've got this one with the little yellow daisies and flowers so um and then I picked up this so I thought this because it's all matching would make a lovely patchwork um cover and blue being my favorite color so that jumped out at me straight away so I hope you've all been well uh, we have Pretty decent weather actually while we were away. There was a big craft fair. I got a couple um, pieces but nothing really to write home about. Oh, and then she had a $5 pack. Now I know Christmas has been and gone. I haven't opened this. I have no idea what material is in here. So get rid of that shiny thing. So I've got a little wooden deer square of that material actually how big is that yeah so it's a decent so once again I'll probably make a cover with this when oh it's got quite a few that is cool I'm always after decent um, material for Christmas and I can never find it so yeah, that's that's really, really cool. There is a heap in here. Oh, I love that. That's 
that's really neat. So, I mean, that was well worth it for $5, this little um, Christmas pack. I'll put that in there later. Um, and then, of course, I got um, just an inch so easy quilt ruler thing. That goes 11 inches and 6 inches. So we'll put that to the side. Oh, and here's the last one. So I had to grab this. I don't really want to open it. Um, but I grabbed it because, like everyone, I want to do a bee journal. So I thought that this was a really cute pack. And I could do a lot with it. Um, and then you go into it. So it's more blues, then same pattern by the looks of it, in your yellows. Um, and more in your greys. So... Watch out for a bee journal. Honey and Lavender by Deb Strain. Very cute. So that's um, all from the Quilters Barn. So I have to find a home for that. I only bought one book from a place in uh, Akaroa. It was, it was actually a library. Um, but we went in and it was like, oh yeah, okay, they've got books for sale. So I've got an orchid... Um, journal I am putting stuff aside for so this has got heaps of really cool pictures absolutely love it and when I got it back to the uh, motel room we have where is it looks like someone's pressed flowers in here how cool is that so there's a couple of those scattered out throughout but I love these pictures absolutely love them Here's another one. That actually looks like an orchid. Sort of. So yeah, these got we've got lots of little bits throughout, but beautiful pictures. So I'm really pleased that I got that book, even though it was one book. Oh, apart from the three readers digest, which I'll um gut and make into journals, but this is a cool book. Also in Akaroa, um, it was so, so hot and it was our um, break away from Christchurch. So we had nothing planned. We walked around. It's like a little French colony type place. It's absolutely stunning, quaint. Um, look it up if you're not sure where Akaroa in New Zealand is. Uh, highly recommend it. Beautiful. But um, yeah, so we I had a, like a couple hours downtime just to restart because we'd been full on all week um, and I'd watched Gail before I went away making these. Um, so all it is is like a book page and then you've got a bit of blank on the on the back and then another sort of like ephemera or whatever on top. So I did a whole lot, I think there's about 20 or 30 and I started decorating a couple of them, but because I didn't take all my stuff away, I only just sort of put an image on there. So I have yet to finish these off, so I will put them in there to finish off. That may, one may be okay. I might faux stitch or stitch around the edges and then it will be finished. Same with that one. That's a slightly bigger tag. Yeah, so I did, yeah, I did a few, quite a few, but that's all right. So they will go in the to-do pile to finish off. Um, just, oh, this is, right, I'm just grabbing some things. This I picked up in the North Island in Wanganui, absolutely loved it. It's like almost a sacking feel to it, but I think ironed out as a cover will be stunning. I did pay a little more than what I normally pay for anything like this, so it was $10, but I think it will be well worth it. Um, I also picked up, I think I might have picked a few of these up in the same place, but isn't that gorgeous? It's so fine. So, and then another little one. Like, I've, I've got doilies for Africa, but 
I think you can never have too much. Nice square one. And then these two, which I thought was really cool. Sort of retro. Oh, it's actually like a basket type thing. And I mean, that, that was $2, so a dollar each. So that is that. Now, in my travels all the way around, I picked up um, some postcards. So I'll quickly flip through these. Um, some real cute ones in there. I tried to find a bit of flowers, uh, a few that had flowers. Um, I'll do something with that as it is. Put that to the side. So, yeah. Pretty pleased. There were, like, everywhere I went had boxes and boxes of postcards. The ones that I don't like the front of, I'll cover. And... Um, Yeah, see, I'm not really that particularly fond with that, but I like the back. So, handsome young man. Love the writing on the back of that. And then these were from a place not very far from me, about an hour and a half away. thought these would have been perfect in, um, especially these ones, these two, in my forget-me-not... Um, in my forget-me-not journal. I might even put those ones in there yet. So, yeah. That's my um, postcard haul. I think there might have been a few more. Oh, and this one, which I thought was really cool. So, excuse the noise while I open this up. Now, these all came in this bag. I wasn't quite sure what they were, but I thought, oh well, I'll buy them anyway. And what they are is like a set of 12 snapshots. So I thought they would be, well, I'll go through them. I hope some of them will be okay. So yeah, we've got quite a few. I'm not sure when they date back to, but I've never seen them before. Edinburgh, some sceneries of Scotland. So I thought they were kind of they were kind of neat. That is shiny, which I don't really like. But hey, I mean, look at that. That is amazing. So I'm pretty pleased. I mean, I think there's some that I won't, um, that I won't use. That's just not me, but I might even put some up on the Etsy or give them away as gifts um, when my journal sells. So yeah, there's a good handful of those. Um, and then... So we went to um, Rickerton Market in Christchurch and um, I completely went past these while I was looking at the postcards. My lovely partner um, seen an album, opened it up and it had all this sort of ephemera in it. Um, 1957. So I'm not going to bore you going through all of this. but Oh, and they, these are the postcards that I picked out. So really cool, and they're pretty much like, I think they were 50 cents each. So pretty stoked with those. Um, see if I can get a couple. That's obviously an alcohol thing. What's this? 1947. So yeah, a whole heap and two dollars each. I was pretty stoked. Um, over here we've got Trade Me in New Zealand, and people are selling things like this for, you know, fifteen twenty dollars. So to pick a whole heap of this sort of stuff up, which is very rare around here, um, made my day. That's nineteen forty-two. Not 
sure what one that one is. There was quite a few of these actually. This is 1953. Radio license. Um, yeah. So, as you can see, quite a few. Oh, there's another postcard. Um, what's this? Oh, so this was a raffle. A raffle book. And he was quite tickled when he showed me this. So... This is the prize, 12 bottles of whiskey, 12 bottles of champagne, and one box of cigars. Now that would be a Christmas joy for someone. So yeah, there's a whole heap of those. I need to figure out how I'm going to store them in another place that's about two hours down the road. Um, he seemed to have a lot of um, like boating type ephemera. So this is just an envelope. I'll figure out what I'm going to do with that. I might even open it up, make this actually the front cover. Blue Star Line. I'm not sure if anyone's heard about it. I've never heard of Blue Star Line. But 1920. It's kind of cool. And there was just like all this in the in the um, bag. Examination of engineers. So that might, um, I think I'll keep all those together. I'll either make a journal out of it, out of this, um, or I am actually have got a seaside journal kit that this might go into. And lastly, is um, this, which i do it. Super stoked. So this is a ledger. Um, British Traders Insurance Limited. So it's pretty cool. Real nice colour. It's a decent thickness. Um, yeah, memoranda for 1950. Nothing written in it, but that's that's great. So we got that, and then I found these. This was actually an antique store, motor company. Some different coloured checks. So that's pretty cool. Um, just a couple. Oh, I thought this was neat because this opens up. Loved it. From Barb and Fee? I don't know. But yeah, absolutely loved that. And then, of course, her. Not sure what I'll use her for. And then there's a weekly time book. So, yeah. So, wages. Wages and overtime box, so that's it's pretty. It's normal paper. It feels pretty fragile, though. I'm not sure. And that one's pretty sturdy. So that is all my haul from my South Island trip. Um, I also got a couple bags of lace that I just got from an op shop, um, which I need to go through and probably get rid of the. The ones that I'm not going to use. Um, yeah, pretty decent haul, I would say. Um, probably spent a little bit more. Oh, there's another one. Columbus Radio Centre. Probably spent a bit more than what I wanted to. But the um, icing on the cake was on the way home where I picked up a few things about two hours away from where I live. I walked into like a collaboration of different... Um, different antique stores there's about five of them and you can put your stuff in there but you have to have a turn and looking after the shop which is great went in there got a couple of those doilies that were two dollars that i showed before um and the maritime stuff that i i got that from there and i was talking to the lady there and asked if she had any ledgers and she said she didn't but she also worked for someone um around the corner I was going to give me the address and she said i'm pretty sure he's got a couple big ledger ledgers but by that time yesterday we were over it we still had two more hours to drive home so i just said look here's my name and number can you please ask him and if he has get him to contact me 
within two hours before we got home, I got a phone call from him. He's got seven ledgers there, ranging in different sizes, so I've hit the jackpot. Um, I'm going to be going down there in two weeks, going to be paying for them and picking them up. I'll bring them back and show you when that happens. But yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to put all these goodies away. I'm going to reintroduce myself with this boy. Um, and yeah, well, next video we'll be working, finishing, hopefully, this little one. Okay, until next time, see you later. I hope you enjoyed looking at what I've brought. Pauline, some of this stuff will be heading towards you if you're watching. But yeah, appreciate you watching. I will tidy my room up, set my printer up, and then I'll be good to go. See ya.